hello guys so in this uh, video we're going to be talking about the time frames né? because i know that sometimes it might be difficult for you to decide on which time frames you can use so i'll try and explain how they are different and also which ones i think you should you should uh, stick to né? so just make sure that you subscribe and also hit the bell icon because i'll be uploading you know videos on regular basis where i'll be starting you know, as you can see i'm starting with the basics and then i'll just continue like that you know? so without wasting time you know? how it so you know now i know this this channel i i know it's gonna grow and not based on the stuff that i'll be flashing on the channel you know there are those your mentors or the people that you know that are in the industry what they do is that they will be flashing uh, fancy lifestyles cars and stuff and then that's how you end up subscribing to their channels and stuff nah you're not gonna see anything on my channel now nah, my channel is just gonna be uh i'm just gonna be showing you the stuff that i'm teaching nothing else you won't see anything about me so i want you to subscribe based on the stuff that you are watching on the video the stuff that you are learning on the on the on the on the, on the channel and not necessarily what i tell you that i have my one so let's get to it ne? so when you are new to trading you know you'll find that when you open your meta trader you'll find that uh, there are different time frames actually on your chart you can have from m1 m5 m15 30 h1 h4 daily weekly and monthly they go all the way like that so you will have to pick the ones that you are going to stick to and you have to know how is this one different you know how is this one different to this how is this one different to that and all the stuff so this is how look at it this way look at it this way uh let's use because i don't think you should you know uh things like m1 that one you should just stay away from it because it it, it basically makes one bar every minute there's a new bar so it's just going to be too noisy so it's going to be it's not easy to assess uh, analyze this one and, and and get it right so i would say you must just stay away from m1 and also m5 but m5 it's it's, it's not as bad as m1 remember the more you move higher so obviously the structure will be nice on weekly than on m5 and it will be nice on monthly than on weekly so the higher you go in the hierarchy like that the nicer the structure gets the easier it gets for you to assess uh, that pair or currency whatever that you are trading but now the tricky part is you cannot just go and say i'll take then it means i'll take my trades here because remember the the, the bigger the time frame the bigger the risk so you're going to need a very big big account for you to tra take trades from monthly or from weekly my one so that's the challenging part otherwise if you if it was possible we will all just go and take trades from monthly but because of the risk that we'll have to you know our stop losses that when you are setting a stop loss if you're setting it on monthly the risk is going to be too big so you can't just go and take trades from that so here the stop loss is small matter because of the structure is just gonna be uh, it can be cucked sometimes <laughs> excuse my language mara because based on that it is uh the risk as much as the risk is small here you can end up taking too many losses than someone that's trading on weekly or on end daily because there the structure it's, most of the time is very much clear right so what it means the the, the, the difference between the time frames let's use um Let's use H1 and H4 and daily, for instance. So H1, H4 and daily. Né? So what this means is that every hour, when in every hour, every hour, when every hour passes, né? you'll have one bar. And then another hour passes, you'll have two bar. And then another hour, you'll have two, three, third bar. And then when the fourth hour passes, that's when you're having one bar this side. This side you haven't even had one bar and then it continues like that so when this side you've got four bars that's when you'll have one bar on daily so what that means is that when you're opening your h4 and you find that your h4 is like this let's use yeah h4 is, is going down né? and it's like this h4 is like this when our h4 is this strong obviously when we're going down to let's say this is h4 né? If I if I before you even open H one, I know that on H one I'll most probably find this like this because what this means is that 
H4 is basically the summary of the the four candlesticks on H1 like this let me show you if let's say uh, like as you can see the H4 the body starts here it ends there the range starts there the high and the low ne? it means on H4 on H1 the the high is going to be the same the first bar is going to start exactly there the first bar is going to start here so this is going to be our first bar on H1 and then we'll have a we'll have another one we'll have another one we'll have another one at the end of the the, the fourth hour on h1 this bar is going to close exactly where this one closed but it can have a week which looks like this so the summary of this it gives you one bar on h4 so the summary of four bars on h4 it will give me one bar on one daily so that's just how different they are so that's why depending on let's say uh so which ones now do i think you should you should stick to because uh, like i said the smaller the time frames the, the smaller the time frame the higher the noise and it's difficult for you to assess and also the but the, the risk is small but it's not easy for you to get it right the, the trace right because of what there's too many false signals there because there's just too much movements unlike the higher time frames on the higher time frames the movements are minimal and the structure is clear but the risk if you were to take a trade from there the risk is too much it's too high which means it makes it difficult for us to take trades on those bigger time frames where the structure is very nice and smooth so now how should i go about trading this now so now i would say to you if when i get when you know your life if when you have got 24 hours a day where you can just there's nothing you can put it straight and say now in these 24 hours uh i don't have maybe anything else to do i can look at the charts the whole day so it means even if you were to look at m15 even if you were to trade m15 when you will manage to to observe it unlike someone who's trading who's who's, who's working maybe from eight to three ne? they are working so it means one of they can't take take trades from m15 why because if i'm taking trades from m15 remember in an hour it means that there's fifth there are four m15 uh, bars because remember uh, 15 minutes times four it's one hour so in an hour there's four m15 bars ne? so for me to trade m15 i'll have to at least in 30 minutes or in an hour i should open my have time to open my my mt4 and check what's happening because there is now new four new bars and four new bars they can change the structure completely so i can't open a trade on m15 and say i'll open my 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 mt4 after seven hours or when it doesn't make sense because there will be a lot and lots and lots of new bars whatever. so if i have a job obviously i, I must try and keep my I must try and take trades from slightly higher time frames than someone who's who has uh, more time on their hands and they can manage to 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 observe the thing throughout by one so if i'm trade if i have a job uh i should i think you should at least do uh, if let's say h1 leona h1 it might not be enough so h4 i think it's perfect it's perfect because when you're doing h4 you know or in a day you will only have four new bars or in your waking hours from eight to uh, three or four you'll only have two new bars which is eight hours because i got h4 h4 meaning we're in eight hours there that you spend at work that's the the time where you'll have two new bars so the change in structure won't be that excessive than if you were to take a trade on m15 where you'll be when you open your m2 mt4 after eight hours you'll find that there's a lot of new bars there. the structure has changed completely whatever. sorry <clears throat> so that's what i'm saying in you in your the way you uh, tailor it will influence your decision to say nah, i think i'll stick to h4 or nah, i think i'll stick to m15 or nah, i think i'll trade h1 it should you should try and look at what is happening in your life how much time do you have on your hands and also your the size of your account i can you cannot say Let's say you have got a hundred dollar account. Ne? You can't take your hundred dollar account and say I'm going to trade H4. I mean it's not gonna make sense. Because remember on H4 your stop loss is gonna be higher. So you'll end up risking sixty dollars depending on what you're trading. Sixty dollars on one trade, which is sixty percent of your entire account, which is not wise. But if I was to take trades on M15, my stop loss you end up finding that your stop loss is five dollars or ten dollars. So it means 
if my account is small i have to tra take trades from what from small time frames and try and grow that so that i know once the account has grown a bit now at least i can go and have the peace of mind by what trading slightly higher time frames whatever so that's another reason that you should take into consideration when you decide on the time frames that on your in your trading one so you should look at size of your account and also the amount of time you have on your hands or whether you have a daily job or not do you have a jail daily job or not if you do obviously you want to stay away from smaller time frames because you won't have you won't have enough time to monitor your your thing whatever. so these are the things that i think they are very very much uh, important and also you need to decide whether or not when you are taking trades you want to be because we've got uh, different types of uh, traders i will make a video for that one so you want to you want to decide on whether you want to uh, when you open trades do you plan on holding them for a longer time or you just want trades where you just be entering and exiting the same day that also will, will determine if whether you want to uh, if you should stick to lower time frames on or higher time frames because someone can say no nah, i don't want a lot of of money i just want 50 pips that's how you measure the movement in in trading i just want 50 pips obviously if you want 50 pips you can get this in a day so it meaning you have to move to lower time frames but if let's say someone says now nah, i want to you know when i'm opening trades i want the setups that are you know i can hold the, the, the trades for at least two three days so if that's the case then i i cannot open a trade on m15 and say i'll hold it for three days it doesn't make sense but i can take it from h4 and hope that it will you know i will be able to hold it for a day or two or three whatever. so that also you should take into consideration when you are deciding whether you should stick to the time frames in your honey or you should stick to higher time frames whatever. so if when well, now you want to be a long sort of a long-term trader or someone that holds trades for more than a day then obviously you have to go to higher time frames and then if when you're planning to open and close today then you have to stick towards the lower time frames ne? so i think i'll end it here i hope now it makes sense why you know the difference between h1 for instance h1 and h4 the difference is that on h1 we form one bar every hour on h4 we need four hours to form one bar meaning when we are forming one one bar on h4 we will have four bars on h1 which means that bar that we are formed we'll see one on h4 it will be a summary of what the four bars that are there on h1 let's just open the chart and then i will show you what i'm talking about all right so here we have uh we have h1 as you can see here at the corner we have h1 né? so in h1 like i already explained you need uh, an hour for you to form a, a bar so it means once this bar closes that will be an hour two hours three hours four hours five hours so from here to here it uh, took the price for five hours it would have taken the price five hours for you to move from here to here but if i was to go to h uh, h4 you will find that this one this this represent one h4 bar so if we were to change the time frame to let's go to h4 then you will see that on h4 you see here is our four hours all those four bars that we had they are here so that's why i'm saying let's let's do it this way so that i can show you that it's a summary when i said h4 it's sort of a summary of four bars on h1 this is what i meant so let's put a horizontal line here somewhere there somewhere here from here so we are going to use i can remember i said it's four bars so this is going to be our bar number one two three four and then the lowest point or the lowest uh, body is here the lowest point of the body in those four four five four bars it's here so this is the highest point of this is the highest point of uh, of the body of this some of these i get one two three four the highest point of these bodies is here the lowest point of them is here so it means now and then the high it's here the highest point of this uh the sort of a high remember we have a high a low and stuff like that so the high in this case is where it's here at the top it's just that it's very high in the screen i cannot write there yeah let's do it this way so this is the high 
and then the low would be this small week here by one so now if we were to switch from this h1 to h4 you will find that the body of h4 it is in between these two horizontal lines it's like this so h4 it will look something like this and then the lowest we could be small because it has to go until this point and then the highest point has to go to that point to that point so h4 bar if we were to go to h4 we will find that it looks something like this because h4 is what is basically the summary of these four bars so let's go to h4 and see what's happening that side as you can see you see exactly what i said it will look like you know it starts from this line to this line and then the weak here is going to be very small and then this one goes up there so i hope now it makes sense the difference between h1 and h4 or it doesn't matter which time frames you look at if it's h1 and h4 then you know in inside one h h4 bar you will find four uh, h1 bars i hope that makes sense and also the reasons or the things that you have to consider when you are deciding on which time frames you should look at so i think i'll end it here i hope you learned something and then don't forget and, uh, to, 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 to like and subscribe and then get Alvona in the next video. Shab shab.